Studebaker, and Dolph Pulliam. This is TVA's Midday. Good afternoon and welcome to Friday's Midday. In our second segment, we're going to take you to the gym and you'll have a chance to uh, do some more bodybuilding. But this time, we're going to concentrate a little bit more on the over 35 age group. John Don is here and uh, he's going to be giving you some of his experience in bodybuilding. Of course, Dave Kuretis is here as well uh, to talk us through bodybuilding. That's in our second segment. But first, today Mary has part two of her report on Hollywood director John Hughes, whose string of successful movies began with National Lampoon's Vacation and is still going strong this summer with The Great Outdoors. Not many people know that producer, writer, director John Hughes came all the way to Iowa for his honeymoon. I've got to tease you a little bit about that. Okay. Where was that, John? It was at the Holiday Inn in Newton. Um, I spent the, my first, my wife and I, first night as a married couple. We left for Chicago. No, actually, it was the second night. I'm sorry. We left the morning after the wedding and heading out to Arizona, and we spent the night in Newton. We just like to make those Iowa connections. When I read a list of your successful films, and I think they've all been successful, I get the idea you're a real workaholic. Um, look, this. you've been on a dairy farm? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what I do, compared to what a dairy farmer does, is I get terribly embarrassed when I you know, complain about how hard I work, because there's people that work a lot harder than me. But to make a successful movie, John, to produce, write, and direct, that is that takes tremendous skill. I, maybe you're too modest to admit it, but the rest of us know it. It's also a lot of fun too. Mm. You know, I'm a, you know I'm sort of my own boss, which is always takes a lot of pressure off. Mm -hmm. um, I I really truly enjoy doing it. And I feel blessed that I can do it. So it's not it's not stressful or you know I don't walk around like that. My it's refreshing. Really I'm so glad to hear that. That's neat. I, I like it. When I go up and write a script, I fall in love with these characters. I love these characters. I mean, I get to create them from scratch, and they're my, you know, my people. And those people he created are all the characters in National Lampoon's Vacation, Pretty in Pink, 16 Candles, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, like Some Kind of Wonderful, Mr. Mom, She's Having a Baby, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, and The Great Outdoors. Quite a string of movies for the man they're calling the teen film king of Hollywood. He's got a lot of different levels to him and things. He's very enthusiastic about the work, and he's got a really creative, quick mind, which I really like. Well, Brian, this is a very nutritious lunch. All the food groups are represented. Did your mom marry Mr. Rogers? Uh, no, Mr. Johnson. I think that a lot of times um, between takes, um, it's important not to think about it too much. And I mean, I like sort of a natural approach. One regret I have is that this shooting movie is so expensive that when you get the laughs on the set, you know, you gotta, because it's, it's, I mean, that's the best, you know. You've got all these people standing around to get the laughs. I admire John because he is a writer, and yet he's not really um, overprotective about his work. You know, he's he's real good about letting people come in and, and kind of form their own character. John Hughes is great. I mean, I don't think that I can say enough about John Hughes. I think that his priorities seem to be with the the performance. Uh, he takes a great deal of time to discuss with us what it is that he wants, what it is that he thinks we may want to achieve in his sand. John, keep us laughing. We need it. I hope so. Okay. Thank you for being with dressing us. Dressing like this, I guess. We'll... <laughs> Come back to Iowa sometime for your second honeymoon. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be through in the summer. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna drive a, drive to Chicago for my we'll, life. We'll we'll watch for you on the internet. Wave for me. Okay. I'll be the guy with the flat tire. <laughs> Two flat tires. You'll put it into a movie, so it's okay, John. <laughs> Two happy clams just whistling down the road. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. We'll be back with more on Midday right after this. As we had promised, we're going to continue our bodybuilding series, and this time we're a different little focus on it because it's not just the younger age group like Dave over here that's, that's building their bodies and feeling good about themselves. Those fellows that get to be my age and 35 and over, you know, is, 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 uh, are getting involved as well. John Don is here. 
uh, with us today. We decided to invite you to be with us today because you, in that 35, do you get a lot of ribbing being over 35? Oh, I take quite a bit of ribbing at the gym. They, they often call me the fossil of the gym. <laughs> <laughs> but you're doing it, you're enjoying it. What do your wife think of your bodybuilding? She really likes it. Of course, she participated for, for a couple of years after I started, and now some of the work that she does prohibits her from getting in as often as she used to. But she really, really likes the changes and, and likes me to stay in shape. Excellent. Dave, we're going to go to the gym. What are we going to be doing when we get there? Well, we're going to be doing our shoulders today. Got to work on those. Um, the first thing up here is going to be a behind neck press. Okay. Is, it a lot of, is, is doing shoulders, and is that fun, or is it just... Oh, it's all fun. You know, we, like, we like it all, sure. But, uh, uh, yeah, you got to build those, too, just like anything else. Here we go, then. So here we go. This is we're at seated, seven flags. Seven yeah. flags. Seated behind neck press. Take the bar out of the rack, bring it down behind your, behind your head there, press it back up again. Do this for 10 repetitions. Try and increase the weight on each consecutive set. Do four to five sets of these. These are excellent mass builders for your shoulders. Mm-hmm. I wanted to ask you, because you said this over and over, increase the weight on the sets. I would decrease the weight on the sets, but why increasing? Well, you want to increase it because it'll tax the muscle more for your, you know, each time you do it. All right. John, we're going to a different machine here. What is this one? Again, we're still working shoulders. This is a cable setup. We're doing one-arm lateral raises. The weight here, as far as heavy weight is concerned, is not that all important. What you want is consistency and to do the exercise correctly. Again, you increase the weight, but we're not talking about big jumps here, maybe only five pounds at a time. Mm -hmm. You start out with about 15 or 20 pounds because you're doing a one-arm exercise. And, of course, you turn around and do the other side when you're, when you're finished. Okay, so you alternate sides. The left arm one to the right next side. Yes. All right, good. From here, we move over to some dumbbells, barbells. No, these are dumbbells. These are, I was now right. We're the first, all right. <laughs> now we're doing side lateral raises. These will really increase the uh, width of your shoulder mass here. Um, they're about the best exercise for that. Bring the weights up to your sides, your arms parallel to the floor, and lower them back down again. What are um, some of the mistakes people make in doing this one? Uh, mistakes people make in this, they try and use too heavy dumbbells too fast. And as John said previously, you want to get your form down first. That's most importantly. Um, you can end up cheating quite a bit if you use a heavier weight and end up throwing your back into it. And, mm -hmm. And such. You find this a good one for you too, John? It's, it's a very good exercise. I enjoy it very much. And if you get your arms too narrow, too, you end up not working your shoulders, but end up working your back. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And of course, wearing the belt. We had mentioned wearing the belt, but these aren't heavy enough weights that you need to specifically wear a belt. Is that mm -hmm. No, no, these aren't. You don't really have to wear a belt to do those unless you get up to where you're using some really heavy poundage. Then, then I would recommend using a belt. And it looks like you guys are doing kind of skin the back strip <laughs> here. What it feels in your arms between your neck and your, and your shoulders. You uh, lift the dumbbells up and, and try and pull it behind you and lift, try and exaggerate touching your shoulders to your ears when you do this exercise, lower them back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. You can also do this exercise. Yeah. These are uh, for your contiguous muscle. Uh, the muscles attached to the base of your skull stands up like that. Dave, about bodybuilding, regardless of the question, you can do that by right. Real six is our zip code. Send us a letter and uh, we'll talk back to you. Next time, yeah. Next time, we're going to be talking uh, with Ronnie Clark at the Sports Medicine Clinic, and we're going to be discussing uh, sports injuries, uh, strain, a pull, or just a muscle that's fatigued from working out. Okay. All right, very good. So that's what we have to look for to next time. John Don, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. The, the fossil, right? The fossil. <laughs> right, Dave, good to see you again. Yeah, you too. We're going to take a break, and then we'll be right back after this.
If you want to drive through one of Des Moines' oldest and most beautiful neighborhoods, then go to the Chautauqua Park Ice Cream Social this Sunday from 4 to 6 p.m. on the grounds at the corner of Allison and Chautauqua Parkway, the Chautauqua Ice Cream Social. Then come back and join us on Monday. We've got a good show for you. We have aerobics, and we also have another special show for you. See you then. Bye-bye.